Hey guys and welcome back for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be doing a crochet tutorial. I know I haven't done one of these in a long time. And it is going to be a donut bunting. So if you don't already know, I do have a website which is charmedbyashley.com. That is where you will find the pattern for this tutorial so you can go ahead and follow along with that. Also all my other tutorials and more patterns and pictures and everything are posted over there. I also would love it if you followed me on my Instagram and my Facebook and definitely join the community. And I do have a Pinterest board, which if you would love to follow me and check out the things that I'm interested in, then you can do that also. So here are the donuts. This is a closer look. I do have two different colored yarns and then also I'm using the contrasting yarns from the other donuts to do the sprinkles. I am using a five millimeter hook and I will be just using this worsted weight yarn. I think that is Red Heart Soft. And then this is just a burnout yarn that I got over at the Walmart. So if you are interested in different colors for your donuts, you can go ahead and do that. The green is going to be of the frosting. So the first thing you're going to do is start off by making a chain. So go ahead and put a slip knot on your hook and then we will chain 15 stitches. So forgive me if I sound a little nasally. I have been battling a sinus infection for the past week and I'm really hoping that tomorrow I will sound a little bit better. But I really wanted to get a tutorial out for you guys as it has been about two weeks, which is way too long for me. I don't know about you guys, but I'm having YouTube withdrawals, if you know what I mean. Okay, so once you've done your 15 stitches or chains, you're just going to go ahead and put your hook through that first chain and you'll create a circle. And then from here, we will start round one. And round one, we will be doing half double crochets. So first you're going to chain two and that will count as your first stitch. And then you will continue on by doing two in the next. So if you don't already know what a half double crochet is, you're going to yarn over, go through your chain, yarn over, bring through the loop, yarn over again, and then you'll have three loops on your hook and you're going to take that last loop and bring it through all three chains at the same time. So we're going to do another half double crochet in that same chain, and then we will do one half double crochet into the next. So the pattern will be two in the next and then one in the next. So it's just two and one, two and one all the way around. So I'm just gonna go ahead and speed this up for you guys. If you want to pause it here and meet me back, then you can definitely do that. I'm just gonna go all the way around doing two in the next, one in the next. And then when we get around to our last chain, we will take our hook and go through that first chain two that we began with and pull up a loop and then we're gonna finish that row. So we're completing the round completely. So it will look like this and this is going to be the center of your donut. Now we're going to work on round two, still using our frosting yarn and do a chain two again, which will count as our first half double crochet, and we will do exactly what we did in the last one where we did two in the next, one in the next. So two and one, two and one, all the way around. This will ensure that your donut stays nice and flat. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up. So I'm just going to complete this round. Make sure you go into the top of that um, chain two at the beginning to complete your round. And then we're gonna go ahead and start our next row where we will do a color change. Take that yarn, the green yarn, I'm not going to be cutting that off. I'm just going to put that over my right hand, making sure the yarn is in the front. Then I'm going to bring the beige yarn through the green loop and then I will start my half double crochets. So for this round, we will be doing two half double crochets in the next, and then one half double crochet in the next two stitches. So you'll repeat that pattern until you get to the end. 
but for this round it's going to be a little bit different we will be working in the back loop only so if you're new to crochet um, when you do your stitches you will notice that there are two little strands of yarn and that makes up one stitch but for this we're just going to go into the back loop only it's going to be kind of weird at first and it might look like you're actually pulling the stitch too much but don't worry about it just continue on once you get your round done it will all kind of go back to normal once it gets all restretched out again so two half double crochets in one and then one half double crochet in the next two and we will do that for the entire round and then when we get back to the beginning we will go back into our first chain two so don't forget you always start with a chain two and then just finish that round now we're going to go on to the next one we're going to do a chain two and then we're going to do two half double crochets in the first and then one half double crochet in the next three stitches so that's this is why i said um, it might be easier for you to go over to my website grab the pattern so that you can follow along because it might be a little confusing hearing me say the um, pattern out loud so once we get all the way done this one we are again going to complete the round by going into that first stitch and we are done with this round so for the next round we will chain one this time and we're going to do single crochets into every single stitch and this kind of just finishes it off i find i don't know why i just think it looks nice so we're just going to do a little bit looser single crochets into every single stitch all the way around so if you don't know what a single crochet is you're going to go in your stitch pull up a loop yarn over and go through those two loops and with the magic of fast motion we will get it done okay so now we're just going to go ahead complete that round like we have done with every other round and now we will fasten this off snip it and now we will move back to our green yarn and this is why it is very important for you not to fasten off the green because we're going to keep going and we will start making a scalloped edge so if you've never made a scalloped edge before this will be a new skill for you i'm going to go at the beginning of that um, yarn there go through that first loop and pull up a loop so you're working in the front loop of that row of stitches see how if we had have gone through both of those loops then we wouldn't have anything to attach the scalloped edge on so this is why we worked in the back loop before okay so now we just did one chain in that first loop that I was working with I'm now going to skip one of the stitches and then I will work four single crochets into that loop and then after that I'm going to skip a stitch go to the next one and then just do a little slip stitch that kind of just secures your scallop down and then I will do another single crochet that's the first stitch for the next scallop skip a stitch go into the next one do four single crochets and it'd be it's easier if you kind of just like bend down the back of the the donut there it just kind of gets it out of the way and then we will do what we did before skip a stitch and then go to the next one do a slip stitch to secure down the scallop single single chain and then again skip four and I hope you got the idea once you get to the end you're gonna fasten that off and then this is how it will look so you're almost done all you need to do is some cute sprinkles so you can do whatever you want if you want to add beads that would be totally adorable if you wanted to just see what I'm gonna do I'm just going to use the yarns that I use for the other frostings of the other donuts 
I'm making a bunting in this tutorial, but of course you don't have to if you just want to make a donut for something, then this of course is a great pattern just for that. Um, I'm using a darning needle to make my little sprinkles. So I'm just going to attach on some yarn, tie a little knot in the back. Um, it is a little messy on the back, so that's why I, you know, if I'm going to hang it, I'm going to hang it on a wall so you're not going to see the back. If you wanted to put something on the back to cover up those stitches, you can of course do that, but it will be a little messy with all of these um, little stitches basically. So I just did like a sporadic pattern all around the frosting. Um, and then when I got to the beginning, I just tied that in a knot and it made sure it all stayed together. And then I used purple for the other frosting. And then I will, I'm done with the donuts. So if this is all you wanted to see, then you can end the tutorial now. If you want to know how I did the bunting and how I attacked it, this is what I will be doing now. So I'm just taking that beige yarn and I am doing a whole bunch of chains. So if you are practicing your chain making, then this is the best. So I'm doing about 66 chains to get started. I want a nice long chain and then I'm going to loop it at the end so that I can hang it on things, you know, on a tack or whatever. And then I'm going to add my donuts and I'm just going to crochet into the top. I find that if you do about five cr single crochets into the top of your donut, it's going to make sure that your donut's not going to flip um, when it's hanging or, you know, twist or something. So I'm just going to do five single crochets. Super easy. And then I will continue on my chains. I did about 27 chains between my donuts. Of course, that is totally up to you if you want your donuts spaced together. If you're working with a small space and you can, um, of course, totally just do whatever you want from this part. But that is just my measurements if you want it to be exactly the way mine looked. So after you've attached each donut with 27 chains in between, then you're gonna do another 66 chains at the end, and then you will create a loop on either side. I just took the ends and then I folded the chain to the size loop that I wanted to and just tied it off easy. So just to be sure, I did um, three pink ones, two green ones, and three, two purple ones. And that is the entire banner. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with all your donut loving friends. And thank you so much for your patience and watching and subscribing. And I hope to see you over at my Instagram or Facebook. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.